What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to episode 36 of the Maple Bomb Podcast. Mark, how the fuck are you feeling, bro? I'm writing down notes. We got a big guess. It's baseball season. The A's suck. My life sucks. And then you die. Well, we got Mi- <laughs> Mi- 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 Nick Michelson on as our guest today, everybody. Yeah, it's going to be a big show with a big shoe. And it's right now. We, we got it all. We got all the good faces. What's going on, everybody? Episode 36 with the glorious Nick Michelson. How you doing, man? Love having you on. Doing fantastic, man. Thanks for having me. Hair oh, looks fucking cool. magnificent. He looks classy. And he has the wine. And the wine. <laughs> and the Adidas shirt. Oh, man. He's looking like a fly black guy right now. Thank you. Thank you. A Thank fly you. black guy. And I speak for the community. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't yeah, I do. You're the last person to speak for the I community. I speak for the community. <laughs> oh, man. I so... Oh, my God. Mark, you have to know at least one black person to at least speak for one black person. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know two. Uh, two. Now, wh- what do you mean by you know two? Like, you just... Kn- like, how close are you? Hey, man. What do you mean by those people? <laughs> don't... Don't pull that 1995 joke. What do you mean by those people? That's that's the oldest oldest trick in the book. I know a few of them. <laughs> no, Don't I'm, crit- Don't crit- <laughs> I'm just having fun sipping red wine. This we're know. only a minute in. We can't start out with racism, Mark. The hell Mark we started. can. Look, we're not going to interview. No offense. We know our buddy Nick Michelson. He's one of the pillars of Stockton 209 comedy. So we're not going to interview him because that wouldn't make any sense. So we're just going to ask him a bunch of series of random questions. All right. All right. Simple questions. They're going to get a little fucked up at some point. But I would also like your intake on stuff as well, Mark. Like whatever question you ask. We're all going to answer. We're all going to answer these questions and have a lively discussion. Gotcha. All right. Okay. First one (laughs) off the bat. I'll go first. Country potatoes or hash browns? Ooh, country potatoes all the way. I w- Hash browns are the communist. <laughs> I would go that route as well. Country potatoes? Are you sure whether they're crispy? Whether they're crispy hash browns? Those are pretty fucking good when you throw the crispy egg in there. Crispy hash browns are fine, but when you have a country potato option, why the fuck are you getting hash browns? Nah. Sometimes they serve shitty country potatoes. Like, fuck, I should have got the goddamn hash okay, browns. Okay, fine, but you didn't say that. You said, do I have a comparable dish here? Do I have equally cooked country potatoes? Or equally prepared hash browns. I'm going country potatoes. Yeah, if you make a shit country potato, I'll take a fucking mashed banana. <laughs> That's such Got a, a point. I just like I mean, the analogy. <laughs> all right, so I think we're all in agreement because I also go with country potatoes. If they're both well made and the and the country potatoes are, do you want them in big, uh, small, smaller chunks or big ass pieces? You know, I don't put a lot of thought into my country potato game, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go right middle of the road. I'm going to say medium. Uh, what about crispy? Crispy or, or crispy. shitty and doughy? They got to they gotta be crispy. I mean, I like a soft interior, but, I mean, I'd rather have overcooked than undercooked. I agree 100%. I, I'm like that with almost all food, though. Like, I don't like really uh, undercooked No, I'm not. Like, when it comes to beef, I'd rather have undercooked. See, I'm not, yeah, me, I like my steak and shit. <laughs> I like it, like, medi- like cooked. You I usually... would take a bite out of a cow if it was legal. <laughs> you probably have. I've seen the girls you've been with. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but if you've seen the girls I, I've been with, you know I'm not taking a bite out of them, dude. <laughs> he's, right, he's, just, he's just milking them. <laughs> Fair enough. The pinky. Did you do? You drink with a pinky up just now? You have to. Oh, that's double, oh double my God. fancy. He's our, he's our first gay uh, guest on the Maple <laughs> Bob. That's rude. You should have had, you bought 36 guests, 35 guests at this point. You should have had more gay people. I feel yeah, bad. That's that's gonna, damn, that's, that's, that's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we are canceled. Uh, yeah, well, don't do not do that to gay people. That's not, that's not good. Nice. Luck. I, I, nobody wants to claim me, and I'm okay with that. Claim you, man. You're, you're a member from the community. From the community I mentioned earlier, and from the other community. All right, country potatoes wins. 
I also vote country potatoes. Let's come on. More country filling. Country road. Too. Yeah, you All got right. the peppers and the onions. Do you ever like throw that fucking yolky shitty egg in there? I always do that every time, no matter what. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Country, country cum sauce. That's what it is. Country sometimes, cum. sometimes, dude, if I got like a um, if I got a pancake and like there's no maple syrup, I'll just do a little butter and I'll put a fucking fried egg on top of the pancake, bro. It's amazing. Oh, my God. That's fucking that's well, that's Okie boy talk right there. Dude, it's good. I'm telling you, with a slice of bacon or sausage on that bitch. It's like a McGriddle, but made at home. It's amazing. Oh, I want bacon. Bacon sounds so fucking what I, good. Right what now. I, good. What I usually do is I always put ice cream in those fuckers and those uh, fucking pancakes. You know, I've heard, I've, I know a lot of people that like that combination. I've never tried and that. It, it's not bad. I just, I'm not a fan. I'm, I don't like ice cream on my waffle, ice cream on my pancake. I feel like it makes it soggy. Yeah. I'm not well, really I'm a not, big not, fan. Waffle. No, waffle is the way to do it. If you have a crispy fucking waffle and it's you throw. It's got to be really crispy, right? Yeah. But like, yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah. people put ice cream on top of pancakes and it just gets real soggy, you know? What, one time I was in Barry and I threw the comic pancake in my pancakes and it tasted really good. This is stupid. <laughs> I'm going to be ashamed of yourself. All right. Uh, cremated or buried? How do you want to be? That's tough for me because I think about my mortality every minute of every day. And um, you have the I, voice go back and forth. I go back and forth in this a lot. Um, on one school of thought, I'm going to take a page right out of Frank Reynolds' book here and say, uh, throw me in the trash. Bang me. I don't care what you do with me. I'm dead. But the other thing is that if I'm going, you know, if I'm thinking about it logically, I feel like why don't we just bury people the way they are in the dirt? Like, is there is there something like does that make the ground toxic? I don't know body science, but um like, I, I mean, I thought I, about maybe. I, I mean, no, like, I think I kind of agree with that because it's like they're putting us in a wooden box. That's not going to do much. Well, and not only that, but why are you embalming me to preserve me? Who gives a shit? Like, yeah. if anything, either bury me whole or here's here's the two things I really want. If I, if I now this is the one thing I really want, but I don't think my family's ever going to afford it. So I don't fault them if they don't do it, but lie to me and tell me you're going to do it. And then when I die, you don't. Yeah, have to you, we don't but know. Yeah, but here's what I would want. I would want to be put in a burial um, pod, and then I'd become a, a gay little tree. And that would be nice for me, theoretically speaking, but I'm not going to be around, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, or uh, there's also burial urns, which are much cheaper. And yeah, you cremate them, and you put them in a little urn, and then that that makes a, that makes also makes a tree. You ever see Sleepy Hollow? Would it be like I the... Have, it, I've seen it, parts it, of it. What if, what if you hit it with an axe and blood squirts out of it, and then you make a groan? You go, oh, aren't they great? Sure. I want to be you know buried in the backyard. Like, don't go six feet. I want it three feet deep, and I want you to just toss my body in without the coffin. And I like to where like don't gently put me in there. Just fucking throw me to where I'm just like this, and then just start. Like, I want one foot to be up. Like, I want to be in the most weirdest fucking positions and just fucking bury me. Here's the thing: if you're gonna you involve in me. If you're going to use all this fluid and embalm me and preserve me, you might as well go full taxidermy and put me in your house somewhere on display. And here's the thing. you can, uh, As long as you promise to leave my genitals alone, you can do anything you want to my anus. <laughs> I like how I, I did not see that. You were, so would you would you be open to being stuffed? <laughs> yeah, that's taxidermy. Just do it. Let's, let's just fucking make it happen. Mark, imagine if we had him like in the background of our podcast. Like, but I want Nick to do like a grizzly bear, like you yeah. know, like the grizzly bears when they're stuffed. Yeah, but and, we're just... and then I bring over a guest and I Nick knock over. Oh, dude, knock, Nick knock over on right. the fucking goddamn guest and I kill him just like in fucking. Uh, so Nick in that will be one the movie. bear uh, in Roadhouse. Remember when you fucking Patrick Swayze knocked the bear over on that one fat guy and he killed him? That was the best scene in the movie. Nick will be the bear, then you chop off me and Mark's head, and we're the fucking deers on the wall. No, no, make me the fucking oh. fish where you push the button and I sing a song. I want. That's what I want. Chop my head off. Put but, me so if it comes down to it, burial or urn. Uh, I I really I I really want to do the tree thing, but if I have to pick between regular burial, regular urn, I'm gonna say I'm right in the middle. You know, like maybe somebody could convince me otherwise, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna really care once I'm dead. <coughs> My theory is this: uh, I want to be inexpensive. I'm dead. It's over. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? It's game over. Okay. I'm gone. So, cook me up. Throw me in a box. 
put me in an urn, I earned it. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, if I make a lot of money, here's what I want people to do. Save my money and cremate me, but then use the rest of my money by putting it in a large, beautiful coffin and then bury that. Because I don't want anyone to have it. It's mine. So you you want it all to you, even when you're gone. It's all it's to you. It's mine. 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 You, you didn't earn it. All mine. mine. Sorry, I even if I that. won it by chance in a lotto, it's still mine. That's fair. Wow, that's fucking greed for you, if there ever was any. I, I've it's always not greed. It's principle. Uh, in actuality, though, like I, I don't, I don't know why. I've always had this weird thing. I do not want to be cremated. Like, I don't know why. I don't want to go out wow. with fire. I don't know. I think if you're not Christ gonna go out with fire. You're I know. Already gonna be out. I know. It's just I don't know if it's the Christian boy in Jordan, me growing up, Jordan, but I just Jordan, don't. I don't want Jordan, that. Think of it this way, okay? You lived in a shitty house for 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years. Motherfucker's selling a coffin right now. Listen, you're living in a shitty house for like upwards of a hundred years, and it sucks. The pipes are leaking. It, it, the electricity's off. It can't get a boner. It's a shitty house, and after a hundred years, you've moved out. Do you really care if someone lights it on fire or not? Okay, that's true. I mean, I've already graffitied on it. So. Yeah, so I just <laughs> yeah. burn Jordan and bury me. So okay, you want to be we'll buried? <laughs> I want to be cremated. You know what? Jordan, when we die, I want Nick, I, I, I I want I Nick and me to switch middle? Middle. Okay, you can't go middle for the rest of these. You got to pick one. <sighs> Fuck it, burn me. Save the money. All right. All right. I'll All say right. buried. Buried? For now. Okay, two cremated, one buried. Moving on. All right, this one's very simple. Forest or beaches? This one's just going to be quick. Forest or beaches? Forest. Why do you do this to me? That's hard. <clears throat> I love forest because my favorite, like, one of my favorite smells in the whole world is pine. I yeah. I love pine. And when I just you leave like... the car going into a forest, you're like, ah. Oh. And I love exploring yeah. a forest. Yeah. And there's, like, lakes. There's rivers. So, like, it's kind of like you can, like, the, be the beach. I love the beach. But you always get burned. You get sand in your ass crack. Yeah. And then uh, a lot of the times you can't really swim like that well in the ocean compared to like a lake or like a river. Nah, it sucks. It's overrated. So am I here? Okay, here's my issue with your question. Clam chowder tastes like cum too. <laughs> no, that's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong. If we're listen, if we're going cuisine based on these regions, then ah. I'm picking beef every time. Listen, the beach is about beer. Barbecue, scantily dressed women, okay? It's about fucking sharks that you can taunt because they can't walk on land. Okay? Hey, hey, pussy <laughs> shark, what are you going to do to me, huh? Yeah, now what is a bear? A bear is a shark with a thick coat and fast legs. True. It's more of true. an adventure if you go in a forest, for sure. Better now, listen, food if we're, if we're going by the adventure, I'm going forest. If we're going by the cuisine, I don't know. Then again, you can barbecue in a forest. This is hard, guys. This is hard. Well, Here's the, thing, the forest has more bugs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, bugs at a forest suck. I've, I've yeah. had that happen. It's snakes. There's more snakes in a forest. Definitely mosquito bites and everything. Yeah. I just feel like I have more inconveniences at beaches than I do at forests. Like, whenever I go yeah, camping. Look, yeah. If we're talking camping, I'm yeah. going to pick the fort. Yeah. If we're talking um, party, I'm probably picking the beach. Probably picking the beach. Okay, you know, that uh, makes a little bit more sense. Like, it would be, I mean, you could still have a little bit of fun, but it would be kind of weird to have a party in the forest compared to a party <laughs> on the beach. You could have a party in a forest, but it's called a seance. <laughs> yeah. Or a hunting trip. From personal experience, <laughs> That's so it's, so my, true. it's my favorite joke I've ever written. I did hook up in a damn forest. Like I'm uh, going with the goddamn forest. Okay, but here, here's my counter offer to you, Mark. If you're camping in the forest alone versus camping on a beach alone, yeah, you can get murdered on a beach, but which one are you more likely to run into cannibalistic hillbillies that rape you? That is also a good point. I'm going beach. Well, what if a dolphin just comes up and fucking gets you while you're sleeping, you know? If a dolphin yeah. comes up and rapes you, you should consider yourself lucky. It did it to Hank Hill. <laughs> yeah, you go uh, like, okay. Oh. It is a beautiful, is it is a beautiful mammal. Yeah, yeah. He got he got raped. Remember that one yeah. episode? Would you rather be Hill? raped by a dolphin or raped by a cannibalistic hillbilly while a bear mauls you? I'm looking at one right now. All right. You... How cute is the hillbilly? Not. Mm. <laughs> Not at all. Damn it. All right. I'm talking Chernobyl face. I don't like this. Bad. I don't like this. Uh, influence here. I'm, I'm still gonna go with forest. One for the forest. No, I think I think you're going beach. You're just being stubborn. 
I I I enjoy the forest more, but if if it came down to that, then I'd pick beach. Yeah. Right. It, okay. Look, 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 look. If it comes down to adventure, <laughs> I'll pick forest. But if it comes down to ways I'm going to die, fuck the forest. Oh yeah. If it comes down to the ways you're going to die, forest. But I'm talking about like, uh, which which one would you rather camp at? Like a forest. Which one would you rather adventure at? A forest. Which one would you rather swim at? A forest because lake and rivers. I'd rather swim in lake and rivers than at the beach. Yeah, I don't know. The lakes and rivers, they have those parasites that swim up your pee hole. Some, yeah, but like Rock most talk of them. The Rock talk about that in the rundown. The Rock talk about that in the rundown. See, yeah, he just tightens his belt like that's going to do something. <laughs> I've never watched the rundown, but I've, I know the scene you're talking about. I've seen that scene, but that's a real thing. That's a okay. real, that happens places. I don't know how many places. I don't know how rare it is, but it happens. You it looks like you kill somebody both at a beach and a forest. I do. <laughs> so it I really like doesn't I matter. I kill somebody in a forest and take them to the beach to cook them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, kids. That sounds hey, like a Lost weekend. Boys. Hey, Lost Boys are at Santa Cruz. You want some fucking... Meat I just found. Stupid. <laughs> All right. All right. Next question. Tommy boy or black sheep? Tommy boy. I'd probably go Tommy boy. There's a one correct answer to this. Before I, I like both movies. I'm going to go. Uh... Fuck. I was going to say black sheep, but. Tommy Boy is the one where he fake, straps the fake dynamite to his chest, right? That's yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I gotta go, Tommy Boy. Gotta go, That's Tommy he's Boy. Gotta, he's <laughs> he's gotta help, help his sell his dad's uh, brake yeah. parts. No, no, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say Black Sheep, but that that scene I think wins it over for me. Black Sheep is a good. I like Black Sheep. I yeah. do okay, too. That, I do that too. Was a hard one. But uh, that's where he tries to help his brother win the election. Win the shit. election. Right. Right. But. And I like the scene where the, he falls down the hill and it lasts for like 10 straight minutes. <laughs> or like the scene with, with the bunk beds. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or the scene where he's just, he's just in front of like, a, like some kind of liquor store with some like teenagers. He's like, popping, shooting, smoking, snorting, drinking, <laughs> popping, rocking, dropping. I want to party with you. Because <laughs> that was like the, what really did happen to Chris Farley in real life. Bruh. The problem is. <laughs> Technically, Tommy Boy is a way better movie. And insider info, uh, the script was a rush job for Black Sheep. Uh, the studio just wanted a new movie. Uh, Farley himself didn't even want to be in it. So it's not so the best. So they wanted to basically repeat success of Tommy Boy. Yes. Well, Makes honestly, sense. for the I mean, longest but, time. But you know for a rush script, they did a great, they, they did a great job. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. It always bothered me because if you look at both the movie type, like the posters, they look almost identical. Yes. Yeah. And it, it bothers the, the shit out of me. Same thing. It was just like, hey, let's just get David Spade. He's going to be the straight guy sidekick. Obviously, Farley's the biggest thing in comedy right now. So hurry up. Get it out. Boom. Hurry. Go. Yeah. Make another one. Now, can we take a three-minute intermission where you boys talk amongst yourselves? Sure. Yes. Go puke. Okay. Yes. I need a refill. Okay, cool. <laughs> you have to flip the fucking phone down. Well, then again, he has the door right next to it. <clears throat> I'm scared about asking that question. I didn't think you both saw those movies. Oh, yeah. Fat guy, uh, little coat. Fat guy, little <laughs> coat. Fat it, it's, guy. Is it, it was uh, Tommy Boy when he, the, Tommy the, Boy. the housekeeping. The housekeeping? <laughs> that was also Tommy yeah. Boy. Yeah. That's a good one. Those are good ones. I haven't watched that, it that in a, a minute, though. That was a feel good movie, too, Tommy. Yeah. Boy. It made you feel for him. He was just trying to help out his pop and his brake parts. And he, was, uh, he didn't know what the fuck he was doing at first. And before you know it, he has strapped a bomb to himself. And threatening to kill everybody, and then they stop. That's the uh, you know, movies don't work like in real life, okay? That's all I got. Oh, yeah, just like the whole like when you're in love with a girl <laughs> and you they let you go through airport security to go stop her before she gets on her plane. In real life, you would be sent to prison for yeah, for years. Yeah. Like, in real, they should make a movie that just is that like you getting arrested and showing what happened to the guy that tried to do it. That should be a movie. Me and Kiefer were talking about how in the romantic comedies at first the guy's just friends with the girl and then he wins her over over time. That never fucking happens. Once you're in the friend zone, there's no leaving the friend zone. I have a fun story. Uh my mom used to always do this because, you know, I was always I was the nerdy one out of like my So like there's me and then there's my brother who was always like the handsome one who got all the girls, and then there was me that was like nerdy and just kept to myself. Yeah. And my mom, you know, would always try to make me feel better. And we would watch, I forgot, I think it was John Tucker. It was some chick flick. 
Uh, but it was one of those generic romantic comedies where, like, the ner at the end, the nerdy w boy got with the girl. And my mom just looks at me and goes, See, Jordan, that's what women want. They want the nerdy one, and that's going to be you. And I was like, Thanks, Mom. This mm. makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. I don't know why I said ma'am. <coughs> like, I, wanna... I just disapprove her of being my mother. I'm like, Thanks, ma'am. You're no longer my mother. The next, the, the last four questions are all fucked up, so I hope we get to them. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Get in here. Get in the room, damn it, Nick. It's all good. We have time. We're, we're, tw we're only halfway through. We're about 20 minutes in. Okay, okay. Uh, Why do plugs? Just get the plugs done now. Fuck. Oh, that's true. Uh, fuck it, yeah. We can do that. <coughs> it just feels weird doing them now, but all right. Uh, you want to do your shit first? Yeah, yeah, I'll do mine. Uh, uh, pl Placerville. I'm in Placerville, April 21st. Uh, John Ron... Uh, sorry, fuck the plugs. All right, Nick's back. We'll do the plugs at the end. <laughs> there fuck you go, the there plugs. you go. All right, oh, let's so get into one of the... This is a wine commercial. Hang on, I want to see that pour. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right, <laughs> this is the commercial. Oh, shit. Oh, oh dear fuck. Lord. Oh. All right, I got the cork stuck in a bottle. I got it, yeah. though. I got it. <laughs> you, you fucking, uh, you poured it like how you come. Yeah. <laughs> He just, oh shit! <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> All right, let's get into the weirder questions. Okay, here we go. Bigger accomplishment: sex with an ugly woman or sex with a handsome man? I've already had sex with an ugly woman, so I'm gonna go handsome man. Handsome man? I'd go handsome man. I've never done it before, so yeah, might as well. You know what? Let's make it. A, let's make it a straight, everybody. Handsome man. What a flush. Okay. We all want a handsome man. <laughs> Mark, you just missed a wonderful opportunity to say, let's make it a threesome. <laughs> let's make it a threesome on a handsome man. Let's get on man. the maple train, baby. <laughs> on a handsome man. I, I, maple train has a whole darker meaning now. Look, That's what I always, always thought the maple train was. We can all just throw rock and hit an ugly woman and take her back to her place. And then that didn't sound right. But now if I got to hook up with a beautiful man, that would be awesome. There's been a couple of times I've been to a strip joint, right, with a good-looking dude, and I'm looking at the ugly strippers. I'm like, I should just get in the back and fuck this guy. This would be way better than these ugly skinks. <laughs> Look, I'm not, I'm not judging you. <laughs> no, I'm not judging doesn't you. Doesn't lead anywhere else. No, I'm just saying, I'm not judging oh, you. But that sounded, I'm not judging that you. Very, it sounded very telling. Is yeah, all I did. Yeah. Well, that was a, well, that was fast. That was really <laughs> fast. Is yeah. there any debate? Leave a note in the comment section. What's a bigger accomplishment? If you're a guy, uh, sex with an ugly woman or sex with a handsome man? I mean, that, if you got... I don't understand. How is that an accomplishment? Anyone can have sex with an ugly woman. Most people can have, have sex with a handsome man. But not everyone can do... Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, like, it, it's not that hard. Like, uh, I mean, I've slept with a lot of ugly women. Yes. I mean, look at me. It's kind of like also like, for example, like we're us three are straight, straight men. So it's like, if it's, is Not it really an, is it really an accomplishment if you can't if you don't you never brag about having sex with an ugly woman and you wouldn't. I do, but, but would who's the who's the man? That's the thing. Is it, it has to be somebody enough to where like it has to be like fucking like Ryan Reynolds or some shit because you kids that's bragging rights. If I went to okay, you guys, fine, but then hold on, but then you have to make it fair. Then it has to be sex with an ugly, extremely rich woman, or sex Hillary with Hillary Clinton, impressive. Hillary Clinton. Ooh. That's like yeah, or like, actually, Ryan that's Reynolds. Like fucking, that's like fucking a Ryan handsome Reynolds. man and extremely rich woman all at the same time. So I'm going with Hill Dog. You are I'm not Ryan doing Ryan. Hill Dog. Yeah, I am. Yeah, Why? for the fucking for the bragging rights of like, man, I still got right back into the Democratic Party. You wouldn't ra you rather Hillary. not fuck Deadpool? No, Deadpool's fucking ugly, but Ryan Reynolds is cute. Yeah. Yep. He he keeps the thing. mask on. Not good enough. <laughs> I've seen what's underneath that mask. But you didn't, right. he already tells his girlfriend he says super penis. <laughs> Sex with Idris Elba it is. All right. More of in the world. What do you think there's more of in the world? Wheels or doors? I was that was one of my questions. Get the fuck out of here. It's Go because ahead. it's it's huge on TikTok right now. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Okay, I didn't know this is an actual question. Give me a minute. Give me a minute cuz I don't know. You had to think of the question and you've done TikTok so you know of the question. This is the first time I've even heard it. But that. it's there's no because every point 
I've heard about it is a good ass point. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't. Even, I don't even have a real are answer. Are doorknobs considered a form of wheel? That's the whole no. thing people are trying no. to say. And are they it's trying not a to? Wheel. Are they trying hey, to say turn, like? Uh, turn that. <laughs> turn that wheel, damn it! Okay, no, hold, on, hold on, hold on. What about vaults? Vaults cancel out because vaults have one of each. That's or like wheel. wagon wheels, yes, scooter that's wheels, a wheel, bike that's wheels. A wheel handle. That's a wheel handle. And ships, ships have wheels, but they have more doors. I'm going to say there's probably more doors. And then you got to think of bu every building, every skyscraper with all the fucking... Uh, all the fucking carts. There's carts, carts everywhere. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's... Oh, wait. Yeah, you know what? 18 wheelers. I'm going to go wheels. More wheels. <laughs> That's his thing. 18 wheelers. Wheels. 18 wheelers. Dude, big rigs. Way more wheels. Handy... The, the fucking wheelchair ramp. Like... All those okay, hold on. But let's say we kill everybody machines. in a wheelchair tomorrow. What? Let's say we killed everybody in a wheelchair tomorrow. So that Good. eliminates that eliminates a lot of wheels. But the, cha the chairs are more. still there. <laughs> you I killed the people. Hold on. No, no, no. But I'm saying we kill them and break the chairs. We we destroy the wheels. <laughs> okay. I still think there's more wheels in the world. What if you end up killing up all those wheelchair people and then you're like, oh, it's still a few more doors. You, we didn't get we didn't crunch the numbers. That's what well, no, I think uh, there's more wheels still. What That's would you point. consider a door? Like, would a cabinet door, a cabinet consider a door? Yes. Yeah. Would uh, oh, if you're in a tent, if you shut that, is that considered a door? Like the fucking I don't think zip? So. I don't consider that. A, I consider that a doorway. That's not a door, though. See, does okay. Jimmy door? Does Jimmy door count as a door? I, <laughs> I, I know nobody knows who the uh, fuck Mark, I'm talking about. I know. I am a cunt. <laughs> I am a cunt. Well, you know what? You're a big wheel, and I'm a door. So there. I'm going, you're, I'm you, going wheels. I'm going wheels because every car has a steering wheel plus at least four wheels, and motorcycles have no doors and two wheels. I'm going wheels. I, I'm going I, wheels, too. I actually think it, it's it's wheels as well. And check this out, guys. Garages, right? That big door. Guess what lifts it up? Wheels. Wheels. Multiple <laughs> wheels. Multiple of them, too. Oh, Multiple bro. wheels for one fucking door. There's Man. a lot of wheels, yeah. And Airplanes and have shit. wheels. <laughs> yeah, but they also have a couple doors. Yeah, but they but they have how many wheels are on a fucking airplane? This question makes me feel like suicide is viable. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to ponder things like this. I'm a on my suicide note. I'm gonna put what I really think. Like it's wheels. Talk about wheels and doors. Just wheels. I'm gonna write wheels. Now hold on. Does the ban does the ban the doors count? Yes. Has four no. doors or just one There's door? There's got to be current How door. many members are there? Well, how many members were there? Oh. Uh, Five. If you're not a part of the band, are you still considered four, a door? But I could be wrong because I've been drinking, so there might have been five. But either way, do we count each member as a single door or is they all just one door? <clears throat> what about every woman where you go, you know, that lady's a real bitch on wheels. Does that count as one singular wheel? I'm going back to wheels. You're right. What about yeah. three doors down? That's another band. That's only one. Oh, that's only yeah. one band, though. And they're they're mm. they're three doors down from all the other doors. How many <laughs> wheels are in between all those doors? <laughs> My head hurts. All right, fuck this. All right, like we're going wheels. I'll go wheels. Yeah. All right, a flush on a wheel. Okay. All right, Think about you got to like Gordon. A lot of people eat, right? Everybody eats every day. Mm. There's no such thing as meals on doors. Next question. <laughs> oh fuck! But there's Jordan. doors on the wheel. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Doors on horse. Anyways, continue. Jordan, do you have a question for us? Uh, I have a few dumb ones I've, I've okay. looked up and found, and I thought they were kind of stupid enough to say. Okay. Uh, let me find it. It was... This one, I, I, I think I already... This is so stupid. Do you guys think cereal is a soup? No. Well, hold Maybe, on. There's, there's never been a sugary soup ever. Hold on. There's porridge. Let's hear them out. Let's hear him out. That's what, Do you think cereal is a soup? What is the definition of soup? If we look that up, let's check it. Salty I'm gonna say liquid no, with but it shit. Might it. On, it might qualify as a, as a stew or a salad. So if we look up definition of soup, it is a liquid dish typically made... Okay, so I don't, I don't think so. It says... Finish it. A liquid dish typically made by boiling meat, fish, or vegetables. So, no, it wouldn't be. You're done. I, I'm saying done. no. Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Are any <laughs> soup, or I, I'm sorry, are any cereals prepared before they get freeze dried by boil? I don't You're think. You're thinking too hard. I don't You're think so. Hard. Do they? Okay, I'm going to say no. It's not a soup. Not a soup. 
Okay, well, that's that question's out the window. That was fast. All right, and I then got there's what? Go, oh, sorry. Have another one. No, go for it. This one's stupid. Uh, what is the sexiest and least sexiest name you can think of? How about hey, Gunther hey, is a bad name. I yes, was think, I, was, I was thinking like full name, so I was gonna go with A Bagoda. He's the least sexy. He was like the guy from The Godfather. Okay. What and about this, Olga? I'm gonna yeah, say. Yeah, there's a lot of hot girls named Olga. Really? I mm, yeah. I, 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 I've Look only met up. one person named Olga, and she was hideous. I'm gonna say <laughs> least sexy name would be Gunther Rapey Hands. <laughs> ain't no beating that. He has me beat there. I can't think of anything. That's the least sexy name. The most sexy name has to be something like uh, Joseph Biden. <laughs> I really disagree with that. Everywhere. Sips why? I disagree with that. I'm a uh, baby. Like something like, <laughs> what's a sexy name? Like, Vostidios. <laughs> Jessica, Jessica Rabbit. That's a sexy name. Mm. Yeah, That's I mean, sexy. that creates boners mm. in every... Every gender, every age group, they all know who Jessica Rabbit is. She's probably the best sex symbol ever. Uh, what was the girl named from uh, Cool World? Whore. Uh, bunny. <laughs> Whore Bunny. Whore Bunny. They, whatever. That works. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to say Jessica Rabbit's got to be the sexiest name. I, I gave it the mark on that one. I, hey, that's speaking, a good one. Of, speaking of sex symbols, I'll go to my next question. Pamela Anderson or Carmen Electra in their prime? I'm gonna let Andrew. In their prime. See, that's that's yeah. hard. I, I'm gonna say Carmen Electra because she's like, you know, she's a little more flair. Uh, I'm gonna go with just blonde hits and everything. That's fair. Blonde, that's blonde hits, plastic, classic, plastic and classic. Go it's on, Pam Anderson. Plastic and classic, baby. Yep. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Carmen like Carmen Electra. Yeah, I mean, have you seen her yeah. in that fucking I, I had a really... Marvel movie? <laughs> She's in what movie? That shitty Marvel movie. She was hot in that. She was never in a shitty Marvel movie. Yes, she was. Uh, well, I don't know. Was she? You're thinking, I... of, you're thinking of Electra. That oh, was a, that was Jennifer Garner. <laughs> Jennifer yeah, Garner is super she hot. hot. Yeah. She was in cheaper you know, by you know, the who, She was okay, in cheaper by the dozen Jennifer too. Garner. Yeah, she played a hot milf. Uh, I would say right now, currently Carmen Electra over uh, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson's starting to look like my my, my, you, my uncle. Use your phone. Hold your phone up to the camera. Show me Carmen Electra. I thought I knew what she looked like. Apparently, I'm thinking of Jennifer Gardner or whoever the fuck. James Gardner. You're thinking of James Gardner. That's hot, too. <laughs> no. Uh, there you go. Stay still. Oh, she's, yeah, way better than Pam Anderson. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, way better. Gay. You're why, both gay, man. Why is she in every parody movie? She's in Meet the Spartans, Scary Movie, Epic Movie. She uh, was ep in those. Uh, yeah. Scary Movie 1 and 4. She's in Baywatch, of course. Uh, she was in Good Burger, <laughs> Cheaper by the Dozen 2, uh, like Starts, Sturtsky and Hutch, Disaster Movie. <laughs> uh, she had Starsky a nice run. Holy great. shit. Starsky and Hutch was great. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Well, okay, okay, that leads me to my next question. Why was she in every movie? Uh, She's in The Simpsons. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here's my next question. Casting Couch or Creep Van? Casting Couch. Now what's I mean, what that's, what's that's a no that's a no brainer. Dude. What's Creep the question? Man, you don't though. get anywhere. What's the question? Which one do I enjoy watching, or which one just, would which one? Which one? Which one? Which one would I be involved in? Yeah, I'd one? rather be in the cat. Wait, 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 wait. It's the casting couch. I'm talking like, am I the girl? And there's like the the four black guys behind me. Oh, uh, the girl. But what's in the van? <laughs> Why van. do you want to know? That's it's terrifying. It's like, what's in the box? It's like the mystery box. What do you? Well, what if you get in the van and, and there's some like milfs in there? I don't want to be the Listen, the girl with the five. What if ice? What if there's ice cream and and uh, fucking uh, Bill Murray? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Listen let me, Jordan. Let me put it this way: Once in the entire universe, you open up a van and it has ice cream and Bill Murray. Every other time, that van has rape. But the one time, what if he? What if he's there? It. Take the casting couch, and you get to be starring as the new Spider-Man. <laughs> Is that? Well, be part that's, of I'm the pretty sure couch. none of the Spider-Man star started there. Well, I think uh, Carmen Electra was in so much crap because of the casting couch. Okay, oh, of that's right. Yeah, yeah that's right. I'm casting right now. All right, 
you guys go with casting couch. I'm gonna go with the creep fan because the mystery and uh, it just seems. I just like saying the term creep fan. No, fun. you're gonna go creep van because you want to be the guy driving the van. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with vans? A lot of things. You know what? Vans, they're cool. It's a good. <laughs> Can you imagine that job though? You're just the, you're just the guy driving. While you hear What's that it? shit behind you, you're just like having to like drive around the city until they finish. You know that's called an Uber driver. That's what that's what an Uber driver is. Limousine drivers. How much you deal with that? <laughs> deal with that stuff all their life. All right, next question. next question. Full house or family matters. Family matters. I will. I'm I'm a full house guy actually. We yeah. gotta teach this kid. We gotta, we gotta teach, teach this kid, kid. right? Sorry, I, I have a I have a big heart wrong. for Uncle Bob Joey, Saget. Cut it out. That was good, but it doesn't beat Family Matters. It doesn't beat Family. I, Matters. I I I I didn't. Here's my thing, though. I might change my mind. I didn't watch all of Family Matters growing up. I That's never got to. For, I've never seen a full episode of Family Matters. No, I've seen full episodes, but but I just I've never sat down like Full House. I've had like the DVD box sets where I've watched them all the way through. I've never Jordan, bought you're not Family Matters. My image of you. What's the image? That you're a guy that owns the DVD box set of. Full house. No, it was my mom's. I don't own it anymore. But I, my mom had it, okay. and I watched right, it. I don't enough. own it now. Um, I, do, I, so I, I forget I'm a little bit older than you, but I'm not that much older than you. I used to watch Full House reruns on fucking. Oh yeah, I did too. I'm just saying, uh, like, or some shit. I'm just saying, as a fan, like, I, my, my fam, well, because my family's white as shit, whatever. They're like Full House, so they bought the shit, and I would watch the rerun reruns, and I enjoyed it. So I. Had the DVDs parents, and I watched them all. Or my mom, my mom specifically, she raised me on an old sketch show with uh, Dave Foley called um, "Kids in the Hall." Oh wow! That's oh, a good, that's okay. a good. That's a good way to learn comedy, right there. Actually, I've, no I've seen. I think I've seen every episode on DVD with of "Kids in the Hall." I love "Kids in the Hall." I've seen a few. I, ha I haven't got to watch all of it. I'd say "Kids in the Hall" um, for old school sketch comedy is probably my favorite. Also. Not as old school, but kind of old school. But Trevor, Trevor Moore was uh, Whitest Kids You Know. That's another fucking love Whitest Kids You Know. <laughs> the but uh, Jordan, you should if you like goofy ass comedy, you got to watch Kids in the Hall. I'll give that a try. Yeah, I love Man. Whitest Kids You Know. Fucking, I, I watched all those guys. That that that, that was like one of my biggest inspirations for making so sketches. So I feel like Whitest Kids You Know. It feels directly inspired by Kids in the Hall. You think so? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to give that a try. It, it feels it feels basically like the younger generation said, "How do we take that concept and make it a little more dirty and current?" Yeah, okay. That's how I felt about. And I love White as Kids. Don't get me wrong, but uh, Kids in the Hall is a classic, dude. Oh yeah, you gotta go. Like, I fucking I, every time I think my favorite still to this day from White as Kids, you know, is the Abraham Lincoln bit. I fucking love that one. You know that one? The, yeah. the, the fucking now you fucked up. Like that shit was just hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, now you fucked up. Rewind the play five minutes. This fat fucking talking. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> He's beating my butt. Don't beat my butt. <laughs> Holy I'm, shit, Hamlet. It's a fucking vampire. <laughs> Suck my presidential cock, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, would you please? <laughs> so, and then the fucking, the finger ring friends. <laughs> the, yeah, that was good. Oh, I so think many. my favorite sketch in Kids in the Hall is the grapist. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna grape you in the mouth. <laughs> oh god, the grapeus was great. That's the sh I want to make more skits, man. They're so much fun. Did I did I just say kids in the hall? I meant to say whitest kids. Yeah, yeah, whitest yeah, kids. I knew what you meant. I knew the. Uh, if I said what, well, yeah, whitest kids. But yeah, the the grapeus is probably one of the <laughs> best. All that one and the sniper. Oh fuck, man! I haven't. I need, I'll yeah, rewatch the all of them. Business sniper. Uh, look it up on YouTube. They still have a lot of them. On I'm there. gonna rewatch a lot of them. It's been so long. But I'm yeah, gonna make some more sketches great. with you guys. That's I love making skits. I unfortunately never saw an episode of uh, the the Weiss Kids. Really? Know. So here, yeah. okay, here's the homework assignment that Nick is dishing out today. Professor Michelson okay. is. I am scheduling Jordan Guadalbaum to go back and find DVDs of Kids in the Hall because it's hard to track down their stuff online nowadays. Okay. You gotta watch Kids in the Hall. I'm ready. And now. Mark, dude, Mark Maple, you can find a bunch of Whitest Kids stuff on YouTube for free. Oh, yeah. So you oh. gotta watch Whitest Kids. I gotta watch a little bit. I wrote it down that way, don't forget. Because <laughs> I have <laughs> seen bits and pieces, but I've never, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, can't, I couldn't have tell you. Seen, uh, have you seen News Radio with um, Phil Hartman and Dave Foley and uh, Joe Rogan and uh, Andy Dick? 
What a weird cast. That yeah, sounds great. That, that, radio's yeah. great too. that sounds so fucking familiar. God, I, I I probably have and I just don't remember it. Yeah, Phil Hartman was great. Um, he was I'm Bill McNeil. He was uh, the main. They did like talk radio. God, I'm gonna have to look. I can't wait to look that up now. Yeah, look up uh, news radio. All right, news radio. Cool. All right. Next question. We we'll go to an easier one. This one's super easy. Let's just make this one quick. N64, PlayStation. N64. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. PS1. PS1. I'm going N64. N64. You know me. Star Fox. Come on now. Now, if you were talking PS2, there may be some wiggle room. I don't know, though. G- hey, GameCube, I think, was better than PS2. Oh, if you're talking no, no, GameCube, no, 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 PS2, no, 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 I'll go no, no, GameCube. No, 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 you're, in, you're incorrect. You're in, no, no, PS2 is the best system of all time. No, 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 no. Xbox 360 was the best system of all time, my friend. Yeah, what, you had to buy it three, six, 360 times because it broke all the fucking time. What? Nah, Where? Where? Bad build quality, the, the rings of death. I had the, the same. I had the same fucking 360 until Xbox One came out. I don't know what you're on about. Well, well that was a real deal. That was a real I deal. Got one, I got one ring of death problem, and I looked it up online when I was in high school, and I found out if you wrapped it in <coughs> two towels and turned it on and let it bake until it turned itself off, it would last you another week. And I did that until it wouldn't turn on anymore for like three months. And then I just sent it into the factory, and they just they fucking fixed it. It took like nine weeks, but they fixed it and sent it back. I like how you try to do it like a fucking Papa Murphy's pizza. You know, like I did. I baked drip. it at home myself, dude. That's how wow. I kept playing GTA yeah. 4. Yeah. Fuck, man. And Gears of War. Love Gears of War. But I'm a hu- right. huge Nintendo nerd, so I always got to go Nintendo. But PS2, <laughs> there's a few golden, uh, like, good games on PS1, but, like, yeah. I think... GameCube beats PS2 because I love the games on the I GameCube. I love you GameCube. Rock. You rock! It's My like, favorite right, game on. is on GameCube. Hold on. Accurate. Hold accurate. on. But Xbox 360 kicks the shit out of PS3. All right, okay, so PS2 had all the GTA games. It had Max Payne. It had Burnout. It, it, had, it, had, it had Metal Gear. It had when Rockstar was you really cooking. I changed my mind. You're right. PS2 is better. You're right. You're the forgetting about, like, the big... Crazy you, amount you know what manhunt. You know what, you know what happened? Oh, manhunt was good. You know what happened? I got caught up in my bliss and my my reminiscing of um, Resident Evil Four, and uh, it's also on PS2. Also, that, was also, that was also on the PS2. It's on PS2. So yeah, but not the way later. If we're going original, yeah, it was a year for, later. It was a year it, later. No, it was like three years later, dude. Uh, yeah, the GameCube had it unlocked for a while with the Resident yeah. Evil Four. But they were in like a contract shit where like they're like, nah, fuck right. you. They didn't eventually get it. So I, you know what? I'll give it to you. PS4 is probably better. No, you said PS4. Anyway, all right, moving on. Two, sorry, PS2. Okay, you gotta lose. You gotta lose one thing here. Okay, you gotta pick which one you lose. Hit me. Half your brain or your Ooh. dick. My ho oh, ho oh, oh. Okay, but what if it's the half of my brain that controls my dick? Yeah, what if you lose your brain and you forget you have a dick? Uh, but then if I lose my dick and I don't lose any brain, I remember I don't have a dick. <laughs> That's, That's horrible. That hold on, hold on. How am I losing these things? Surgically or in a horrible accident? Uh, surgically. Oh, I'm going to so- go lose my dick. Fuck it. Make it a pussy. I'll just be trans. No, you can't. You just you don't have anything else. It's just <laughs> nothing? How do you pee? I don't know. Don't ask me. Call, call out, uh, the, one of those bags. The call uh, oh, Columbine. Columbine, the Columbine shooting. But you can't yeah. function. Columbine you can't function back. with half a brain. You know what? Here's the thing. I feel like comedically, and as a man, I'm supposed to say half the brain. But if I'm just being honest, because it's just us three, we're the boys, you're my friends, I'm gonna say that. Fuck it, dude. Take my dick. Well, realistically, you can't really function without half a fucking. You can't even function without a quarter of a brain. So I'm gonna go no dick either. Yeah, but here's the thing. I can learn to live without a dick. I can't learn. Being force-fed IV fluid through a straw. You're just gonna, you're, you're, yeah, you're just a fucking vegetable. I'm point. never gonna do comedy again. I'm never gonna fucking play video games. I'm not gonna be normal. My mom's gonna be wiping my ass until I'm 55 and I die of a stroke. Uh, no, fuck that. Take my dick then, yeah. and I'll just pretend I have a dick. Question: and I'll lie to everybody. Can we? And I'll be very insecure and I'll overcompensate forever. Question: Can we keep the dick? No. No, like just like. Like, you know, put hey. it up somewhere. What, so the, the your girlfriend's like, let's fuck. I'm like, okay, you bring it out. <laughs> like, she's out, in like, the mood and you're not. You're like, just here, fucking take it. You, you get out of the case like it's a I fucking don't think, realistically, pool stick. I don't think there's a, a small enough jar that's big enough to contain my dick. 
a small wait a small enough jar that's big enough because my my little dick is big like little it, big it's girthy dick. it's it, like little it, big planet it, it, little big big dick it's yeah. giant yeah. that's gonna be a big little jar well little giants <laughs> little giant i'll be right back i'm gonna go pee very quick oh, yeah. all right all right i'm uh, marking a mission let's go uh, you want to do plugs? What are your plugs? Just do your plugs right now while he's gone. All right. When does this episode air? Uh, it's going to air probably either tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Uh, what date is this Saturday? Uh, let me look on my calendar. I can't use my, my phone. Look. I'm using my phone. Uh, it's, it's, uh, April 16th. Okay. And then what date is Wednesday? Uh, April 13th. Okay. So on April 16th, you can catch me in Fairfield, California at 8 p.m. at some tap room. I don't remember the name or the address or if it costs money for tickets. I will post them on my Instagram. Now, where is that? April- so, so walk around Fairfield going, where is Nick Michelson? Listen, hit up me or Jordan Kirchner. Also, you can find me Wednesday afternoon at 1.30 p.m. Uh, Department 9D in Family Court in the San Joaquin County Superior Court. You can find yeah. me there as well. Uh, it's going to be a good lineup. Fun. Got a good lineup, man. It's going to be a good show. Honestly, terrible lineup. I'm going to be the only killer there. It's usually how it is at Nick Michelson show. That's usually how it is when Nick Michelson's in court. Yeah. The opener here is a fucking bitch. He's a bitch ass <laughs> judge that I hope dies the stroke very slowly in front of his children. Anyway. All right. What's your, what's your socials? Uh, don't show the judge this video of me drinking. I'm not supposed to be doing that. Okay. That's soda. I thought that was soda this whole time. It's grape juice. Yeah. Grape juice. With alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, can, I, I only got... Jordan, you got any other questions? Because I'm kind of nearly with wits in here. Uh, well, I don't... I think I think that's a good amount because we're actually, like, basically <coughs> at the end. It's been a... Right. It's been a good amount. So we can... I got, one more, qu- I got one more question yeah, here. And then, then we'll do a recap. Better domestic. Beer or abuse? Mm. Abuse. Yeah, because I mean, domestic beer is okay, but import beer is way better. And I yeah, mean, if I'm I agree. Be abused. I want to be abused by the by the devil I know. With with your family, I agree. I don't want to be abused by an immigrant. I'm going also with uh, d- abuse. <laughs> hey, uh, Jordan, you you have no probably no saying this since you don't drink, but better domestic beer or abuse? I'll go with what you guys said. All right, it's another clean <laughs> clean sweep. Okay, so recap. We're split. Totally on a cremation versus being buried. Country okay. Potatoes gets the sweep. All of us say it is. Two go for beaches, one go for forest. Good two go wait, for wait, the wait, insta- wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Which one of you did I convince to go beach? It wasn't me. It was I, Jordan. What? I said forest. Yeah, you both went forest, I thought. Whoops. Never mind. Okay. Horrible. Forest wins. <laughs> See? Forest wins. Nick Myers <laughs> has got a, got a noodle in this bowl. Bad mark. PlayStation 1 gets one vote. The N64 gets two votes. Pamela Anderson, bad day for blondes. I went with the blonde Pamela Anderson. You guys went with Carmen Letra. Ah, clean, sweep, clean sweep on the legendary Tommy Boy over Black Sheep. Yep. Two votes go to the family. That is, the family matters. Only one person in the full house. The only family that matters. The only family <laughs> that matters. Sex with a handsome man gets the win over sex with an ugly woman. Domestic Which is abuse. very telling for three straight men to agree on that so quickly. Yeah, it agree. Was really quick. <laughs> Domestic abuse wins big time. Way much over beer. Go figure, right? <laughs> Usually beer goes into the domestic abuse, but whatever. More wheels on the plant than doors. All three of us say that. We'd rather lose our dick than lose half our brain. And then two votes go to the casting couch. And just because I like the way it sounds, I'm going with the creep van. <laughs> creep van, baby. Yeah. Look. So is the, I like this. Is the maple yeah. train just the, a creep van? <laughs> yep, keeping it chugging. Everyone hop chug, aboard chug. the creep van. Ba, this ba, has da, been a fun. Sh- you know what? This has been a fun game show. You guys should have me on more often. We could do this again. Oh, I'm we down. Will, we'll do it more. We will have you on yeah. a little bit more. All right, and next time, motherfucker, let me know so I'll have five of my own questions prepared. Okay, okay yeah, we'll deal. do that. You know, you know what? Start. All right, all right, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna think of one right now. Okay. okay. Everyone stay silent. <laughs> All right. I got it. All right. Would you rather 
punch your own mother in the face. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. Go ahead. And at the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, what was the question? Uh, I was going to say punch your own mother in the face um, once a year. Once a year? Christmas or, time. Uh, or uncontrollably, like Tourette's, scream the N-word whenever you're in any downtown metropolis. <laughs> okay, what, what the fuck kind of dumb... <laughs> We still, uh, I mean, we can get killed the other way. So, I don't even, yeah. I don't even, I, sorry, sorry, mom. I'll, I'll do it every day if I had to, like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, not. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going, I'm going N-word. Because <laughs> God knows my heart. God. I'd die a martyr than be a shitty son like the both of you. Shame on you. <laughs> oh, that's. Remember everybody in our black community, what, remember what I said earlier? And, uh, if you're, oh, my God, what bro. what I said earlier in the podcast. With you guys. Uh, to the people. Don't, don't. don't. That I'm was, never going to do that again. That would probably look uh, uh, I'm ashamed I did it too. They were with you until you did that. <laughs> yeah, now I seem like a cornball. They're like, yeah, we, you, you weren't real about that shit. Get the fuck out of here. I don't here. like how much you two are using the term they right now. It's making me a little Oh my god. They, them, I mean, the black These community. are my people. These. Uh, uh, yeah, write my plugs. Uh, shit. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, go to Nick Michelson's Caps Pizza. It's one of the best damn, uh, uh, my opinion, it's like the best damn uh, open mic you can go to. It's a lot of fun. Better than like Stockton and the surrounding area of 209 and the entire valley in California. Throw the whole state in there. Fuck it. The people have spoken. A lot of people like that one. Agreed. Uh, well, what else? Uh, fucking, uh, let me look at my calendar. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, April 21st, I'm going to Placerville for the John Ross show. I don't know exactly where it's at. Go to Placerville and just scream out, where is Mark Maple? And I'll scream back at you. Uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, the 28th of April, I'm going to be El Dorado Hills. I don't know where it's at again. It's somewhere. I think it's called the Pur Purple Door. Oh, I, I saw show that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I want to show with Robert Berry, our, our buddy Gabe, oh, Heather good. Rogues, some that. other people. Ian, Ian Messingale, the guy from 98 Rocks, putting that show together. He puts on good-ass shows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has been on a show next month. Yeah, he's same. good-ass We're show. on that yeah, same I, show. I want to go to that show. I saw that thing. And then also... Oh, you know what? I'll finish my plugs later. Sorry, go ahead. And then May 6th, uh, Bricks and Hops. Uh, we're going to have our headliner, John Ross. One of the best showcases you can go to. That's about it. At Madman Maple on Instagram and everything else. Jordan, what are your plugs? Uh, every Wednesday at the Hype Bar and Grill... Come on out, Stockton, California, free open mic. Uh, me and uh, my co-host, Gabriel Alexander, do it. It starts at 8 o'clock. Please come on out. Yeah. Come see us work on some new material. Uh, April 19th, I'll be at Slides in Manteca. I believe it's $20 uh, for tickets. And we have Saul Trujillo op uh, headlining, and I'm fucking excited for that. So you the got, best there is, the best there was. The best we have. There ever all, will we be. also have Connor great. Martin on the show. Emmanuel Martin is the host. And did I miss anybody? I think that's everybody that's on that show. Yeah. Um, and then uh, April twenty seventh, I'll be at Last Unlimited uh, with the amazing Wendy Lewis. Uh, that one's going to be a good show. Uh, May sixth, I'm at Bricks and Hops with uh, Mark. Uh, then May seventh, I'm at Just Kicking It in Roseville with Nick Michelson, which is going to be a dope show. Mm -hmm. uh, May 9th, I'll be in Alameda at the Fireside Lounge, which is uh, pretty dope. I don't know who I'm going to be with yet. I, I just got announced it uh, yesterday, so I'll, I'll update you guys once I get more people who are on it. And then uh, June 2nd, I'll be at Tommy T's in Pleasanton. And those are all my dates. Nick? Sick. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at my calendar. I just realized I can, I can look at my calendar while we have these calls on the same device. Phones are crazy, dude. Yeah, anyway, right. uh, Apps. so uh, on the 16th, I'm in Fairfield at the Tap Room with Jordan Kirchner. He's hosting. Yeah. On April, um, actually, let me start with tomorrow. I apologize. Uh, April 12th, Tuesday, is my show that I run at Caps Pizza in Stockton, California on Pacific Avenue, 8 p.m. to about 9.30. It's a great room, great show. Uh, again, I already said April 16th. Uh, April 30th. I'm going to be at um, downtown Stockton at Courthouse Plaza at 7 p.m. I'm throwing a show there with Gabriel Alexander. Oh, Ryan okay. I Stockton. thought you were going to court again. <laughs> I was like, why are they no, having uh, on Saturday? Oh, yeah. I'll be appearing in San Joaquin <laughs> County Superior Court on Wednesday, April 13th. 
Um, don't forget, I'm I'm fighting for my children. Um, on Thursday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, I'm going to be in Pacifica. Um, May 6th, on a Friday, I'm going to be in Stockton again at the Ghost Light Theater, opening up for Reggie, Thug Dork, Galindo. And it was going to be Mikey Winfield, but he's filming a fest, uh, he's filming a special. So we're going to have Ellis Rodriguez instead, who's mm-hmm. an amazing comic. And on Saturday, May 7th, I'm going to be in Roseville on the same show Jordan Plugged, the Just Kicking It show with Ian Messingale. So those are my next uh, my next handful of dates. Hell yeah. Any socials you want to shout out? Yeah, follow me on Instagram at Michelson. I spell it M-Y-K-E-L-S-E-N. At Michelson. I'm on Facebook at Nick Michelson, M-I-C-H-E-L-S-E-N. Uh, give me a follow. I'm going to hopefully have a YouTube up and running in the next few months. So mm. keep an eye out for that. And uh, let's have a good fucking time. And just remember that um, sharks are not as scary as bears. That's why I pick beaches. <laughs> and Mark, anything else you got to say? Go A's. Go A's. Oh, yeah. Continued success. Continued success. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Make sure to subscribe. Give us five stars on Apple Podcasts. Follow us on uh, Spotify, Anchor, and, uh, yeah, you know, all the socials, Maple Bomb Podcasts on everything. I've been Jordan Quaterbaum. Thank you guys so much. Mark, continued this, success. Uh, this, show what? this show sucks. What? This show sucks. What? What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs>